So does a lesser known but well respected German company make the perfect diver's watch? Huh. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here with Torby's Lawless, a company whose slogan is literally, we build your watch. So let's go take a closer look at what they built for me. Let's go. And here it is, the made to order Torby Lawless. So what does that mean made to order? Well, Torby does not stock their watches even though they have a couple of showrooms. So in fact, we won't even see a shopping cart at checkout on their website because we won't be able to order the watches like we usually do. And that's because, as I said, they are made to order according to our needs and preferences. And I'll cover more of that a little later on. So let's get back to the Lawless. This model is in 40 millimeters, 47.1 millimeters from lug to lug, 11.8 millimeters tall, and with a 20 millimeter lug width. And I think at first glance, it will look like a regular diver's watch, but there is so much more to this German crafted watch, including the luxurious materials and a lot of attention to detail. So let's start with the dial. It looks like it has a sunburst effect and it does, but there is so much more to it. So we can, we can see it, these look like dark soiled spots uh, around the top and the bottom coupled with a sunburst effect. And that's because the dial is made of brass. Uh, and that soil colors that we see in a good way, when I say soil, uh, it's coming through the blue dial. And that is a really nice, you know, it looks like a really nicely aged, burnished uh, leather dress shoes that, that are super expensive. So that gives that dial a really unique look. And in fact, I like the white markers that are against the blue, both on the bezel insert and a dial. And speaking of the markers, they are hand painted, but they are not just simply glued. They have feet on the bottom, so they are attached and then glued. So we won't ever come across a situation where if we're a little harder on the watch that one of the markers will fall off and then we have to take the watch apart to glue it back on. This is really well made. And in fact, uh, the dial is laid on first and then the bezel insert so we can get precise aligning with the bezel insert uh, markers along with the markers on the dial. So I just mentioned the bezel insert and which is another really luxurious material used. I mean, we're used to seeing steel and aluminum and ceramic, but this bezel insert is genuine sapphire. So we can see the different glints of blue uh, on, the bezel, on the bezel insert because of the sapphire that is used, creating a really nice, great look and a really luxurious feel. The finishing on the Lawless is first rate and we can see the signed crown there protected by two crown guards. And so this model has the polished center links with the brushed uh, along the edges and polished along the side. Uh, of course, there are other options. If you don't prefer polished and you want brushed, you can have that. But I, I chose the polished center links. I like that look a lot. I think it gives it a really nice an elegant look. Just about every aspect of a Torby watch is handmade in-house, including the case. The case is finished and created in-house. Torby just does an excellent job. So let's go on with the bracelet because it is a good one. And we can see uh, their Torby watch's name there and their logo. And when we open it, we will also see something really special because it has a diver's extension clasp right there for the serious diver. So they say that the Rolex Submariner could be the only dive watch or the only watch we ever need. And if we buy into that, I would add that the Lawless could be that only watch we ever need. Although, <laughs> who are we kidding? One watch is never enough for us. But I'm just trying to point that out as far as a diver's watch being an ideal uh, everyday watch. This Lawless would have to be uh, at the top of that list. So as I was showing you the bracelet, we got a glimpse of this case back, this beautifully designed case back. It is literally a work of art where it says Imperium Neptuni Regis and it is nice and deeply engraved. This has to be one of the nicest case back designs that I've seen. It is literally a work of art. And as nice as the case back is, we can't see the movement. So what is powering the Lawless? Well, they use the ETA 2824, but they also regulate it to five positions in house. And why is that important? Well, whenever an ETA movement comes directly from the factory, there is a zero to 20 seconds per day margin of error when it comes to accuracy. So by the time Torby regulates the movement, it is down to zero to six seconds per day, which falls within chronometer standards. 
What I did forget to show you earlier is how crisply uh, this bracelet snapped when you closed it. So I'll show you what I mean. This is just a well executed bracelet. Everything about this, I just can't find anything uh, to poke negatively about this watch. I think this is a nice time for some wrist shots. So I'll be right back and you know Mickey will keep you company. Not only is the Lawless a legitimate diver's watch with its water resistance of 200 meters and its diver's extension clasp, but it is really elegant. And I think we've all heard that expression uh, from the ocean to the boardroom. And I think the Lawless definitely applies to that statement because it is very elegant and not just because of its well-proportioned case but everything about this from its luxurious materials that are used to its color scheme i just think this watch can be worn in any situation this is in the blue model and look at the dial look at the way it just changes in different lighting conditions but it is also available in a gmt black a vintage edition and a red edition and the price of this model in 40 millimeters is about 1600 dollars. and i think for that we get precision German craftsmanship, luxurious materials, a really well executed and well made watch that doesn't look like another Rolex Submariner. And we're back with some final thoughts on Torby. And Torby started in 2007 when the owner Erdal realized that the internet was a legitimate source for him to be able to sell his watches worldwide instead of going through the traditional route of a distribution and boutiques. And you know, prior to 2007, I remember telling myself that I would never spend a thousand dollars or more on a watch that I'm not able to see from a brand I'm not familiar with online. But fast forward to today, and that's the norm for us buying our watches. And then in 2011, Torby introduced us to the Lawless. And if we're wondering how it got its name, well, it's from a collaboration between Torby and a professional diver, Brendan Lawless. Torby is now a 12-year-old watch company, and I think we have to be pure watch enthusiasts to know about their watches. And I think I'm going to liken Torby with Nomos, and not just because both are German-made watches, but because Nomos, which started, I think, in 1990, is now a 29-year-old company. But we are not just now accepting and realizing how great Nomos' watches are. I think it's fair to say we started to recognize this a good 10 or 15 years ago. And uh, every year since, it is just padding on to Nomos' legacy. And I think that's the stage Torby watches are, where we are now at the point of embracing them and really recognizing them and appreciating them and expecting Torby to be around. I think we're going to experience two emotions when it comes to Torby's made-to-order business model. And I think the first one has to be elation because we're finally able to get a watch to our preference. Because I think a lot of us chirp almost as if we're looking for an excuse not to get a watch. So for example, we may argue that, oh, the watch is perfect if it only had polished center links instead of brushed. Or we may argue, well, the watch is great in 40 millimeters, but I would love it if it was in 42 millimeters. In that case, I would buy it just like that. And I think uh, Torby has anticipated those arguments because they have a wide range of sizes that would meet our preference. It seems like they have every model available in 40 and 42 millimeters. They even have them in 43 millimeters and even up to 45 millimeters where we can even choose the type of finishes. And I think with that great selection and that variety for us, I think that also brings fear because as great as those options are, I think the worry that we're going to have is what if I don't like the watch, I won't be able to return it the way that I can in a boutique within their return policy. And if we thought that, we would be wrong because Torby actually accepts returns with only one caveat and that's we pay for the shipping and that's fair. And to put that into perspective, according to Torby, in all of its 12 years, they've only had two returns and I think that ratio is pretty amazing and I can attest to why that is because the Lawless 40 is a fantastic watch. And because we're able to return a made to order watch without any restocking fee, I think that gives us a real sense of peace of mind. And because of my positive experience with the Lawless, I'm already starting to look at my next Torby watch. I think they make some really cool looking enamel watches, pilot watches and an amazing looking military watch. And there is something else that interested me about Torby, as if the watches alone weren't enough. And that's because I find it really challenging in a sea of watches for a certain brand to be recognized. And I'm going to read off of what I prepared because it's a little long to memorize. 
the U.S. Navy ordered a limited series of pilot watches for specifically selected combat pilots of the U.S. Strike Fighters Weapons School Pacific. And that is quite the accomplishment for a German brand to be recognized by the U.S. Navy. And according to Turby's website, uh, those watches have gone up significantly in value. It's just another feather in Torby's cap. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. And one of the best and exciting German watch brands is Turby. Turby. Tur... Turby. And then in 2007, Torby introduced us to the... The Lawless. <laughs> And I think there are going to be two emotions that we're going to exper experience, experience, experience. I think there are... Oof.